A former North Korean diplomat who defected to South Korea in 2016 is planning to run in the country's general elections. Tae Yong Ho, a high profile North Korean defector, shared his plans to run in the April 15th general elections as a member of the main opposition, Liberty Korean Party, on Monday. The head of the LKP's election candidate selection panel, Kim Hyung Ho, said that Tae had joined the Conservative Party for a race in a sole constituency rather than a seat in the National Assembly serving proportional representation. This would make Tae the first North Korean defector ever to be engaged in an electoral competition in a South Korean constituency. Tae Yong Ho had served as North Korea's deputy ambassador to London before his defection in August of 2016. In London, his main jobs as North Korea's ambassador were becoming the embassy's main point of contact for British correspondents traveling to Pyongyang and to represent the Kim Jong-un administration. In 2001, Tae had appeared in the public's eye by engaging in North Korea-EU human rights talks in Brussels as the main representative delegate for North Korea. As a fluent English and Mandarin speaker, Tae was one of the highest-ranking North Korean officials ever to defect. However, in sought for freedom, this 58-year-old had risked both him and his family's life. As the father of two children, Tae and his family would have been heavily punished if caught during their defection. Once Tae defected to South Korea, he has been actively holding lectures on North Korea's crippling human rights reality and the real truth behind the regime's administration. For such a previously high-ranking North Korean official to run for South Korea's general elections is presenting a vision for genuine reunification by giving hope to not only North Korean defectors but also all people in both Koreas.